Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to get the SS token from the HubSpot because now we are going to integrate the HubSpot into the Node.js, into your website, into your React application. So we will see how we are going to integrate that one. Before those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. For getting the SS token, what we have to do, there is the settings, okay? On the top of the icon, go there. After that, you have to go to the integrations, then we go with the private apps. Okay, then create a private app over here. So you need to add the basic informations, right? So description, this is test app, you can say that. Okay, and uh, let's move to the next one. This is done. Now we are going to add with the scopes. So I'm going to use my CMS, not I'm going to use the CRM okay so i need that the list so any company contacts in anything custom you want you want to make write the scopes over here and uh, owners quotes companies contacts we require okay deals we require quotes and everything we need okay make it and let's go to the next part this is done any settings you want you can make it or any accounting actions automation you require you can just make it like this just make it marked it over here like the forms you require upload forms hubspot integration thing marketing email read write so anything that you required you can make it just mark it over here okay so this is done right and next moving to the web uh, just create uh, web hooks is there so target web hook i need to add it let give me a second what exactly now we have for the thrice app uh, make sure you have to thrice the app the local development you can use the link like this or call back okay make sure you have to specify the redirect url i think that is not required here i think target url that is webhook mm -hmm. so create app private app uh, this can be used for updating the hotspot account data continue reading so here you can see that we have a token right now so i'm going to copy this token or you can see that take to the private app store or you can just show the token and copy this token which i'm going to use in the next video okay i have copied this token and i'm going to use the next video thank you so much for watching this video let's see how we are going to create a contact in the crm hubspot with the help of the node shares in the next video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day